I'm Ailish. Patrick. Sharice. Oshin. Mary. Nicole. Cahill. Deirdre. Kaylee. Kira. Danielle. Amy. And we are the KKU Project! <laughs> Suicide is a very serious problem throughout Ireland. This group realised that in order to address the issue, you have to get people talking about it. Our project is called SEM, Suicide Awareness Movement, and the whole purpose of it is to spread the awareness for suicide that just isn't really there. I mean, there's such a taboo around suicide and you need to get people talking about it because the best way to prevent something is having a conversation about it before it even has a chance to happen. From five or six years of mental health talks in school, suicide was the thing that was always brushed over. It was one or two words and that's it. And yet the statistics about suicide are so shocking. We wanted to show that there was a story behind each of those statistics. That's the motto of our group. The teenagers created a play and held discussion groups after each performance. Theatre was something that had always bonded the few of us that had started off in the group. We'd been in drama together, so that's where the idea of the play came around. Um, so I went away and I wrote the play using all these different resources, um, mental health leaflets, bereavement leaflets, and once it was written, we ran it by a HSE officer to make sure that the message of the play was right. She sent the play over to me and I read it, and read it twice because it's really it's really good. And, and uh, there's a few little things in it that we, we I discussed with them and perhaps gave them a little bit of advice and maybe they could re-emphasise some points. And we're, we're hoping that we, we will be able to, to build on it and maybe um, record it and, and, and build a package and a programme around it and that it could be available then to more for Oiga clubs and maybe even for rollout and delivery in our schools. I'm done, Cassie. I'm done with you and your crazy flip-outs like this. All you ever do is make everyone else feel as bad as you do because you don't think you're good enough to keep your boyfriend alive. Well, that's it. I'm done. Don't ever talk to me again, Cassie. I think it's very important that teenagers are talking about the whole subject of suicide. I am so proud of the 12 young people that have taken part in this project. They have blown me away in every aspect. It, it, it's, it's an inspiration to be able to sit back and see the, uh, the amount of capacity that young people have to be able to put something like this together and to influence directly their other young people in their community. You are not alone. There are people to talk to. And things can and do get better. To know we're making a difference is such an incredible feeling. That's all this project was ever about. We're changing other people, we're changing how they think and how they're approaching suicide and it's just really fantastic to see the impact. When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. I think it's a great message that they're sending out. I do think it is a taboo subject, people are quite shocked by it and kind of it's an awkward thing to bring up so I think fair use to them for going out of the comfort zone. I'm very proud of them all with the job they did tonight, I thought it was an excellent play, they've done a wonderful job. I thought it was very uh, insightful and empowering, um, you know, and it was fantastic to see such a huge crowd here but particularly so many young people uh, and I think there's, you know, major scope for this play to be rolled out into the education sector uh, and get young people uh, and indeed the community you know talking about suicide and you know the issues around suicide and suicide prevention in particular